Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy, our cameraman is Henry, and today we're taking a look at the Gray Wolf 22RR Black Label. We'll get started up front here with the Black Label package that does come with the power tongue jack up front with the LED light to help you hook up if it's nighttime or dark outside. The LP tank cover with the quick lid access so you can get in and turn those on and off. And there are, those are two 20 pound LP tank bottles and that will be filled by the Outpost RV for you. Behind that, we have the Group 27 Deep Cycle Marine battery. So we equip the camper with the juice pack option, which means the battery comes with it, as well as the 50 watt solar panel from the factory. Also up front, I wanted to point out a nice feature they added, a uh, little bar there to hang your chains on. It's the little things that uh, go a long ways here in the campers. Up front, you'll notice with the black label package, we have the fiberglass on the outside. You'll notice the deep tinted frameless windows, as well as LED lights all the way around. And one of my favorites is the magnetic door catches on the baggage door here. So you just open it up and let it go. Um, inside, we do have an LED light to illuminate the storage area. The power cord comes with the camper as well as the spare tire. Underneath, you'll notice we have power jacks on this camper and how those work, one leg will come down and hit the ground first, then the other one will come down, they'll equal out in pressure. And that is to stabilize the camper. You have a set up front, you also have a set in the back. Uh, right here, we have your nice 15 foot awning. It is a power awning with a blue LED light underneath it. Um, this also has the quick pitch adjustment, so you can just pull down on one side and tilt the awning. So if there's a, uh, you know, a very light rain where you can have that run off the side, or if the sun's in your eyes, you can pull both sides down and adjust the pitch with that. Um, I would say though, if it's raining, we recommend to put the awning back in altogether. Moving back here, your entrance door. Uh, we have the new tempered glass entrance door, which is a very sharp look. Um, adds a lot of character to the camper itself. We also have the screen door still, oversized grab handle, and these 30 steps with adjustable feet. So if you're on different levels of ground, you can still get that leveled out. Right underneath the entrance step down below, uh, you're gonna have a quick disconnect for an LP uh, gas grill. So if you have a Coleman or a gas grill such as that, you can plug it in right there and use the gas that's on the camper instead of bringing an extra bottle. Uh, we do have the upgraded aluminum rims. You'll notice the center cap is popped off back here. They are the quick, easy lube axles. Um, all four wheels have electric brakes on them, and it also has a tire pressure monitoring system. So on the side, it will turn red if you're low on air. So I will unscrew this and demonstrate. So you can see it's red, so you can just walk around and do a visual check before you leave and make sure that you're good on air. Up here, we have your outside entertainment center. You'll notice the speakers light up blue as well. The TV bracket is going to be the same bracket that's on the inside. So you can simply lift your TV up, bring it out and slide it in out here. And you have your TV connections and 110 outlet as well. Uh, with the black label, you also get this really neat uh, blue black label package decal that uh, lights up there. Um, also right above the entrance door, I'm sorry I'm going backwards here a little bit. We do have a vent on the outside. You'll notice one on the other side as well. That is so you can have cross ventilation as you're going down the road. So if you have four wheelers or motorcycles or something with fumes inside, you can keep that aired out as you're going down the road. Back here is gonna be your second set of uh, electric jacks. And we are also pet friendly. We have your leash latch here. So the furry family members can come along with you as well and uh, have a place to tie them up. You'll notice that the ramp door patio system is on here and already set up. In our pictures, you'll notice that there's a screen wall that will roll down. So you can have that to keep the bugs out uh, once you're utilizing the patio system here. A nice LED light in the back. Um, this customer has already upgraded the camera that's on here. Um, typically it comes pre-wired for an observation camera that you can add at any point in time. Uh, it's a very nice feature that will allow you to see behind you the entire time as you're going down the road and while you're backing up. Uh, so that is not standard. This customer has already added that on here though. Right back here is gonna be the, your other vent for your cross ventilation. And underneath is gonna be a tube that will hold your sewer hose as you're going down the road. This is a 30 amp unit and it comes with a 25 foot detachable power cord and that plugs in right there. 
Moving up, we have your black tank flush. So when you're done camping for the week or the weekend, you can simply hook up your garden hose there and that will blast out your black tank and clean that out if there's anything hung up inside. A nice uh, LED light on the off door side that will allow you to see what's going on if you're hooking up or dumping as well, as well as your cable connection. So if you're at a campground and they have cable um, hookups, you can plug right in and use that. And then your outside shower with your hot and cold water. It does have the coil hose sprayer that will pull out and you can use that as well. Right underneath that is gonna be your water connections. The left side is your fresh water connection. That will fill the fresh water tank on the camper. So if you're dry camping or boondocking, um, you can use your water pump to utilize that water. And then your city water is right beside that. So if you're at your house or at a campground, you would simply hook your water hose right up to that and that will pressurize the lines for you. Underneath is gonna be the dumps. You have a black handle and a gray handle. Your gray handles for your gray tank, which is gonna be your shower and sink water. And then the black handle, which would be the toilet water. And last but not least, up front here, we have your six gallon DSI water heater. DSI stands for direct spark ignition. So you do not have to come out and light this. It will light itself. And it is gas and electric. The electric switch is on the bottom left corner here. And the gas switch is on the inside, which I'll show you in just a second. With this, you can run a gas or electric and get up to 10 gallons of hot water that way. And if you run them both together, gas and electric, you can get up to 16 gallons of hot water for a better refresh rate. And that concludes the outside of our Gray Wolf 22RR black label. Now we'll head to the inside. All right, now we'll head inside and take a look around. Again, this is the 22RR black label. As we get started, we'll head right inside the entrance door to your main control panel. That is where the gas side of your water heater is, your water pump, light switches, as well as your awning switch right there. We'll move around and try and get a nice shot of the kitchen here. Um, on the left corner, you do have your stereo. That is AM, FM, and Bluetooth compatible. The nice glass doors up top here gives it a really nice home feeling. And the microwave and range vent, which vents right out the side of the camper. In the kitchen area, you have a three burner stove top, and that has a glass cover that will fold back when you're cooking. The backsplash also doubles as a cutting board that's held by magnets and that will pull right off of there. With the black label package, you do have the upgraded countertop inside here. Um, it would feel like a Corian style countertop, has a really nice texture to it. The large single bowl with the pullout sprayer faucet as well. Down below gives you some nice storage, got a couple drawers on the left side and then some cabinet doors down below. Directly underneath the oven, that is going to be your furnace area. And again, that is a 20,000 BTU furnace, so plenty enough to keep you warm. Have some helmet racks up above, extra storage there. Then the dinette area. This also turns into a bed, and you'll see that with the pictures on our website. Or you have some nice seating there. In the very back, this is a look at the ramp door patio system from the inside. Again, these screen walls will roll down, keep the bugs out. Um, you can either have it blacked out or there are some screens in the middle that you can roll up and have ventilation that way as well. A window on the side and your entertainment center in the back. So your TV connections are up on the roof and then um, also your TV bracket on the wall there. That's the same one that's on the outside. The 22RR offers a very nice pantry here. Uh, quite a few shelves in here and lots of great storage. Over here we have your uh, 12 volt refrigerator, which is why we have the juice pack option on here. Um, that is a very large fridge and freezer, extremely deep as well. Underneath that, we have your breakers and fuses. That's the black box on the left there. The red key is gonna be a 12 volt cutoff switch. And beside that is a meter to keep track of your volts in the battery. And directly underneath with the green light is gonna be your carbon monoxide detector. Right up above, we do have the skylight with a blind that pulls over it and the new subwoofer as well that is mounted on the ceiling. In the hallway here, we have your thermostat um, that is digital. 
and that will control your furnace and your air conditioner. And as we move into the bathroom area, um, you'll notice we do have the nice corner shower here. It has the skylight above the shower. Give you lots of room in here. And the large single bowl sink. And I'm gonna flip the light on in here. Large single bowl sink there. Lots of storage underneath, as well as the medicine cabinet right up above. In the bathroom, we have the fantastic fan. That is an exhaust fan, and that will move a lot of air through here for you. We also have the toilet um, placed at a good angle. And if you've owned a camper before, you'll know that that is very important as well. Moving up in the bedroom area, on both sides, you'll have a mirrored storage door for hanging clothes underneath there or right behind it. And you do have doors up top as well. So more, more storage up there. Queen size bed and the bed will lift up for storage. And on both sides of the bed, you have 110 and 12 volt charge ports. This uh, 12 volt charge port looks a little bit different because you can also hook a speaker up to that and have a portable speaker. And right back here in the corner, we also have another TV area. So you could add a TV in the bedroom as well. And I believe that concludes the walkthrough of our 22RR Black Label. Thank you guys for watching. Again, feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.